Yo, it's me, your boy, Shannon Boy, here today. I'm here today to talk about Ruby Volume 9 and what I want to see from this uh, volume. So let's get straight into this uh, video. So Ruby Volume 9 is, um, honestly, um, I haven't really uh, talked too much about this uh, because I've kind of just have been... Um, not that very interested in Ruby. I kind of uh, dropped the series um, because there hasn't been very much that's come out for Ruby Volume 9. Um, you know, no promotional material or anything like that and there's been like one trailer that's come out and that was like over six months ago and uh the fandom has kind of just like you know been a kind of a dumpster fire honestly um and there's been a lot of just like um hate surrounding uh you know ruby and uh you know what's you know come out with you know what's happened to rooster teeth and um you know them firing all their animators and you know people's opinions on the show and and if people, you know, still, you know, care about Ruby and, you know, what's, you know, everyone's, you know, um, feelings about it. Um, and I've seen a lot of like, you know, people, um, you know, going back and forth, um, you know, with, um, at each other about how they feel about Ruby as a show. Honestly, when it comes to my opinion about Ruby is that I'm still like interested in the show, but I'm not you know that crazy about it honestly because um you know it's been um a while since ruby volume 8 came out um it's been over like a year or so and uh and it's been like a good six months since the ruby volume 9 tra i mean a trailer came out and uh there hasn't been anything else that's come out so far and um and it's been ma mainly delayed because of the uh side projects that R rooster teeth has been doing uh with our uh, warner bros uh with the uh you know with the um, Justice League and Ruby crossover movies uh, that they're going to do. Yes, movies. Um, there's going to be two parts apparently to this uh, movie. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not that very interested in this uh, movie. Um, I'm I might watch it, but honestly, I don't know if I'm going to do a review or anything like that on this movie because I have no interest in this movie at all. I mainly just care about Ruby Volume 9 and, uh, you know, and seeing, um, you know, what's going to happen in this volume because um, that teaser trailer didn't really tell us that very much. It only tell, um, told us that they got teleported to a different world than our uh, Remnant uh, when they fell down that hole in uh, Ruby Volume 8, and uh, I'm assuming um, that Ruby Volume 9 is going to uh, explore this new world that the uh, girls have gone to, and um, and also John and Neo have gone to, and, um, and uh, they're going to try their best to get back to uh, Remnant, and we're also going to see the uh, other cast of characters get to our uh, vacuo, and uh, that's going to be the uh, volume, and uh, and Salem's obviously going to uh, obviously going to do something. Uh, she's the main bad guy, so she's going to do something. I don't know what she's going to do. Um, she's got the two relics now, and I'm pretty sure she's going. Um, she's going to go and find uh, you know the other relics, and um. And, uh, I don't know what's going to, ha um, you know, Vacuo is a bit of a, uh, new destination that we don't know very much about, um, so that's going to be interesting, and this, uh, new world that the Ruby Girls have been teleported to, um, is going to be, uh, interesting, and they're probably going to explore, uh, that world, um, in Volume 9, um, which will be pretty interesting and cool, but honestly, uh, I don't really have too much else to say when it comes to what I want to see in Ruby Volume 9 because there hasn't been very much that has come out, um, you know, in terms of the uh, story. Um, when it comes to the uh, characters, um, what I want to see uh, from the Ruby Girls is that I want them to, I don't know if this is a bit asking too much, but I want them to, uh, you know, reinvent themselves because, to be honest with you, all of the Ruby Girls have kind of been stunted, uh, you know, and uh, with their growth as characters. Uh, they haven't really done all that too much uh, and when it, um, other than it concerning the plot. Uh, you know, the plot 
is uh, what's driving Ruby uh, forward. Um, it's not really the uh, characters, um, it's mainly the uh, plot, and the characters are kind of just following along the plot, and I kind of want them to uh, maybe reinvent these characters a little bit, and uh, and give them a sense of like purpose, or, um, or dreams, or goals, or something like that, and give them a little bit more character development, because right now, um, this is my own opinion, but I feel like um, Ruby and the gang are kind of stunted, and they are just kind of here um, along for the uh, ride when it comes to the uh, plot. They don't really have their own like dreams and like their own goals and everything like that. Not they're not really uh, characters in my opinion, um, and they're just like they're kind of just there for the uh, plot. And I feel like uh, they should uh, kind of like uh, reinvent these characters to sort of um, make them a little bit better um ex especially like ruby as the main character i feel like her growth as a main character has kind of stunted and uh and i don't know where ruby's gonna go from here on out same with yang same with uh you know weiss and same with uh you know blake um you know um um, with uh, Blake, I'm not too sure what's uh, her end game. I don't know where she's going. Same with Yang. I have no idea what's her goals or you know um, or her you know dreams are or anything like that. And same with um, with Weiss, I'm more interested on, uh, about her you know her reaction to her father's death. But I don't know if she's going to uh, learn about that because she's in this different world. It's more going to be about you know winter and Whitley and uh you know Willow who are going to learn about you know um Jock's death um then uh Weiss because Weiss is in this like different world um so yeah so when it comes to like um the Ruby gang I kind of want them to like um I guess reinvent the um themselves and uh and do something different and take uh you know and take um and take action, um, and also uh, and be held accountable uh, for all the stuff that happened in uh, in Atlas. Because I feel like you know, um, that, um, you know, all the stuff that happened in Atlas is kind of their fault, and I want them to sort of own up to that, and uh, you know, and take uh, responsibility for what happened to in Atlas, and uh, and also make sure that doesn't happen again. That's kind of what I want to see from the Ruby girls. I don't really know um you know what's going to happen with them in this group I mean, in this volume but that's what i want to see from them um, um but yeah i want to see them grow as characters so yeah um i don't really know too much about what's going to happen with uh you know um um, with, uh, you know, um, with, uh, Crow and the, uh, and the remaining members of the, uh, Aesops and, uh, Robin, um, uh, they're probably gonna go to, uh, Vacuo or do something else. Um, I'm not too interested about Robin. I don't really care about her character, honestly. I don't like her. Uh, the remaining, uh, Aesop members, uh, they're like, eh, like, um, we've got, you know, Har Harriet, um, you know, Marrow, and also, uh, Elm, uh, and, yeah, and, uh, Vine, and, uh, um, and Clover are the two that died, and, uh, those are the remaining members, and I don't really, uh, care too much about, you know, where their characters are going, honestly, uh, because they're not, I don't really know where they're going, um, per se, so yeah, um, so the villains um honestly when it comes to the villains of our uh, ruby um a couple of them have died um you know watts has died uh you know um and uh, some of them have like been teleported to uh, another world, uh, like with uh, you know with uh, Neo, uh, Cinder, and Salem are still together. And uh, you know Salem has got the two relics, and uh, you know and uh, Tyrion has gone to a uh, vacuo uh, with uh, Mercury. And uh, there's still like you know uh, I mean a couple of like you know. Um, villains around but they have definitely uh you know gotten a lot smaller um when it comes to um you know the group um you know um in uh, v v volume eight uh you know because uh there was a you know quite a decent amount of the uh, villains uh in ruby volume seven and eight and uh you know and they came to uh, atlas and you know some of them changed sides like with emerald uh some of them got like you know teleported to a different world like with neo and you know 
and some of them died with uh, Watts. And I guess you could say, you know, um, Ironwood was kind of a villain, but honestly, he uh, he's dead now. It'd be a shock if he's still alive, but I highly doubt that. I think he is dead. Uh, you know, Jock is dead. I guess you could say he was a villain, I guess. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of, like, you know, um, characters that died in Ruby Volume uh, 7 and 8. And, uh, you know, and going into uh, Ruby Volume 9, uh, there's not very much else to, uh, you know, um, I don't really know where the uh, villains are going to, you know, go um, from here on out because, uh, you know, um, I'm pretty sure, you know, say Salem's gonna go after the uh, relics, and I kind of want to know what her end game is. I guess it's to rule the world. Um, same with uh, you know uh, Cinder. I kind of want to know what her end game is, and uh, you know, and uh, we got her backstory, but I would have kind of I would have liked to seen you know how you know Salem uh, you know picked her up, and you know why she's following Salem. That's what I really cared about. I didn't really care about her being a kid. Um, in her um in her backstory, I more cared about you know why is she following Salem what is her goal and what hurts and what is her you know end game and um, is it just uh you know for power or is it something else and uh, that's what I want to see from you know cinder in this uh volume nine um and uh and uh, and going forward is that I want to see uh you know where cinder is gonna go um and what she's going to do, and what is her end game? Same with our uh, Salem. I want to know where, what she's doing, and where she's going, and what is her end game? Is it just to rule the world, or is it something more? Um, that's what I want to see from these are uh, two characters because uh, you know Cinder and also Salem are like the two main bad guys in this uh, you know story. Honestly, uh, the other you know um, bad guys don't really do all that too much. Honestly. <laughs> Um, and I don't really know their end games when it comes to, you know, their characters. So, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, um, Rin and Nora are going to go to uh, Vacuo and uh, their uh, relationship is going to, you know, sort of, uh, you know, keep going the way it's going to go. And uh, and uh, Nora is going to keep trying to find herself and, uh, you know, and Rin's going to probably, you know, progress as a character, honestly. I don't really know too much about, you know, where they're going to go and what's their end game. We already know what their end game is. They're going to get together, obviously. So, yeah, but, um, you know, I don't really know uh, what's going to happen with their characters. Um, um, but, I uh, yeah, but, uh, there's a lot of, like, characters that are just, like, side characters, and I don't really know where they're going to uh, go, um, like, the Happy Huntresses, I don't know anything about those characters, I don't know where they're going to go, um, I'm pretty sure they're going to, uh, tag along with the main group of characters, but, um, in terms of, like, the main cast of characters, they have, um, they've been teleported to a different world, so we're probably gonna follow those characters, um, in this new world, and also so John and Neo, but I don't really know if uh, Neo is going to uh, change sides and become a good guy. I highly, um, I hope that's not how it's going to go down. Um, but uh, yeah, um, but who knows um john i don't really know too much about you know where john's gonna be going uh throughout this uh, volume i know that he went uh to the new world where uh ruby and the gang went to so he is there with them so um we'll have to um we'll have to wait and see but honestly um that's how i feel about this uh, volume so far and the characters and how i've been talking about them so far is that we'll have to wait and see uh where these characters are going because because honestly, I don't know where they're going to be uh, going, and I don't know what you know, Ruby's end game is. Um, because uh, there's been so much, um, there's been so little um, when it comes to information about Ruby Volume Nine um, that it's kind of been just like um, we'll have to wait and see. And that's honestly a bit like you know um, annoying because you know I'm still interested in Ruby Volume Nine, and I'm still you know still you know. I'm still going to, uh, you know, um, watch it, honestly, and I'm still going to maybe review it, but, um, but there hasn't been very much, uh, promotional, uh, material coming out, and there hasn't been very much hype around Ruby Volume 9. I've been just seeing a lot of, like, either hate, or, you know, or people not very interested in the show, or, you know, people's just like, eh, like, you know, and that's kind of how I feel about it right now as well, is that I'm, I'm, I'm still interested in the show, but I've kind 
kind of just like you know dropped the series as well and i'm still going to watch ruby volume 9 and i'm still going to maybe um you know make a um video a video about it here and there but i'm not as interested as i was when ruby volume 9's uh, trailer came out i was interested with that trailer um and uh in, and what it showed but it's been like you know over six months since that trailer and it's been about a year since that uh you know um since like you know um ruby volume 8 and um honestly um it's been a bit waning and it'll be interesting to see how um you know ruby volume 9 is gonna go uh in terms of like you know people's interest in ruby um because that's how i feel when it comes to uh ruby volume 9 is that um people's interest in ruby is uh going to be uh, very interesting to see because uh this uh volume has been very just on the down low um lately and there hasn't been very much coming out let uh, as of late so um not very many people are interested in this uh volume i'm pretty sure there is a lot of people who are interested in this volume don't get me wrong but i haven't really seen a lot of people uh, that are you know talking about ruby volume 9 because there's not very much that's coming out so yeah <laughs> but anyways uh that is my uh you know stance on ruby volume 9 and that's where i see the uh characters and what i want to see from them uh this is your boy shonen boy signing out uh like comment and subscribe and uh, to uh and uh comment down below uh what do you want to see from ruby volume 9 and where do you think the characters are going to go and are you uh interested in ruby volume 9 put that in the comments down below and until next time i'll talk to you guys later and have an awesome day